Let's talk about protocol. You're moving some of the most toxic substances known on the planet, and you're simply going to, it shows them here loading it into the back of a semi, and it has a liner on it. If you look at that liner, that liner's not coming out of the front, so that liner very much looks to be two-sided. Um, I'm guessing they're gonna wrap that back over it, not totally contained, and they're spraying water on it. It says right there, wet spray. What is the protocol for that water? Where's that water going that now contains these toxic elements? How much of it are you spraying? We want it spelled out to us. We want the protocol to see it clearly what that looks like. Uh, that's really important because it's a big issue. That water has the toxins in it. Now you're gonna put them into a place that has a wetland under it where it was sitting there dry, but now you made the potential for it to leach into the soil even higher. Okay, so that's one thing. What is the protocol? What if it's windy? How are those tarps gonna be on the side of the truck? We already know that there was a 100 mile an hour wind when this happened. So what is the wind protocol? Not only here when you're picking up and you're bringing it to the site, but now let's look at the site. This is the diagram that they've made for us. And we can tell that um, one, it's a four acre site, but if you actually look at the mass of their diagram, there's they're not sitting four acres. It all of a sudden just became a 2.2 acre site. If you actually look at what's happening and because of all the substrate they have to put around it, the area that they have to work with, the total area with everything is 4.7 acres. So how are they gonna support their infrastructure around it? Number two, you see the leachate pipes. When the water comes out, where is the protocol for where that water is going? What if we just got a hundred year storm? and we dumped 12 inches of water in this massive reservoir at one time. It's leached through here and now has the potential to be toxic. Where are you gonna put that water? What are you gonna do with it? What's your protocol? Also, we wanna point out that we have extreme winds in Oluwalu, and I'm sure there's some average numbers out there, but I counted last year over 100 days with over 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts coming and it always blows straight offshore into the ocean or from the dump towards us and then offshore. Um, we know about this, so what is your wind protocol? You're dumping stuff in the hole. You have massive 100 trucks a day coming in there if you expect to do it within three years. We've ran those numbers as well. Um, and now, on these days that it's windy, what is your protocol? What are you doing to stop that dust from going airborne? And also the fact that this dump how come we don't hear any reports on the wind? The wind grows predominantly offshore. It's in the lee of the mountain. So you're potentially putting these materials straight into the ocean airborne as well. So we wanna know what is your protocol for that?